Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. This is Haunted Hotel Eclipse, and and she's Op Punk. And we are done with the main game, and it ended just as weirdly as the game expected it to. So now we are on to the bonus content. Last time we looked at the bonus content, but we didn't actually look at the extra gameplay. So let's check it out. Dear friend, I'm afraid I need your help once again. The hotel where we solved that last case is on the verge of destruction. Please come at once. Sincerely, James. I mean, is that bad? I'm so glad you came. Just look at this place. The poor hotel owners had just begun to restore the hotel after the unfortunate events here, and now look. There have been reports of ghosts, but we need more information. Ghosts? There weren't ghosts before. Here's your trusty companion. You make an excellent team. Yay, we rescued the butterfly from the dome! Because we used them at the end of the game last time. We did not leave the hotel in this bad condition. What happened to the tree? Yeah, no, this is definitely... It was not on fire before to start with. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. We have a fountain. Is there a fountain there before? I don't think there was a fountain there before. A strange glowy plant. That is not a real plant. Is it ought? It doesn't look like one. Final Journey is the worst name for the hotel. And the best part is that's not the original name of the hotel. The original name for the hotel was Lonely Dream. So they retconned the name and uh, everything else. He lost his wings. And it looks like the mailbox fell down. I guess let's go inside first. What on earth? Are those specters throwing ghost birds at each other? Apparently they are. Crystal Lake. Okay. Look, somebody broke the, broke the glass on that cabinet like I suggested we do last time. Well, this wasn't here last time. There's that thing we opened. Alright, that's enough of that. Jump! Place is on fire. I think maybe besides the ghost, you should be calling the fire department. Oh, look, a new picture. Spirits. Spirits can be good or evil, but the souls of order members favor neither. They only wish to determine who is most powerful. It's just that in the heat of battle, they cause terrible destruction to anything or anyone that happens to get in their way. Okay. Fire. Fire should be the fire department, not a detective. Wait, what? This would make a wonderful handle for a tool. This seems excessive, and I can pick this up, but I can't do anything with it. Strange. Laundry soap. And a thing. This has lots of weird stuff in it. There's an E. We have an A and an E. And I think that's a lizard. Aw, they replaced the doorknob with the from the crazy werewolf. And they got rid of the scratch marks. Okay. The owners could have given me the keys to the place if, you know, we were coming here to get rid of stuff. Why didn't I think of checking this earlier? I don't know. Why did you do anything in this game? I guess we can't go upstairs this time. Or out back through the door. So now there's a new path. I think we might... No, we can't go that way. There's more of them out here. Are they going to shoot birds? 
Maybe not. Lame. Nope, they just bang into each other. These sacks are, aren't, should be there. Much used without holes. I'm not strong enough to bend the iron bars. At least those iron bars, it doesn't look like you could fit your hand through. In the last game we were playing, there were these bars that were super far apart, but we weren't allowed to. Ah, the old key stuck in the lock thing. So we need a newspaper and something pointy. The last game we were playing, there was bars like this, except they were so far apart that you could have easily put your hand like up to your elbow in them. Oh, this is really cute. Okay, and then R. Well, that spells R. I could jump in, but how would I get back out? I'm glad you thought of that. Um. Oh, what's this? An axe handle. A grindstone. Ah. Uh, nope, that's the sacks again. Those ghosts are super irritating. So I have a bucket. And letters. And my... Oh, could she burn up the plants? No, I didn't think so. Can I scoop the plant away? What? What? I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be doing. Current task. What am I supposed to use a bucket for here? Yeah, I didn't think so. I can't sharpen a bucket. The bags aren't helpful. Unless I want to break the window. No, I didn't think so. Can I throw the bucket at the ghosts? What about the butterfly? No. Can the butterfly get me the wrench? No. What about the stuff in the well? No. I mean, it's possible, but they don't have any faces, so I don't even know how that would work. Maybe that's what's making them mad. Gather water from the swamp. I can't click on the swamp. Oh, now I can. I must have been clicking too high. And I'm going to put out the fire, I assume? That was two buckets of water, but okay. Is that a brain? No. Okay. All right. First hidden object puzzle. That did that all by itself, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Is that the magic wand? Yes. Drafting compass. That, that. Uh, no, it wasn't. I didn't think so. It wasn't pointy enough. There it is. Three elephants. One, two, three. A Medusa. Three horns. One, two, three. Magnifying glass. Broken magnifying glass. A mermaid. I thought I saw a mermaid. Is it behind you? It is. Stupid bird. Spyglass. Window. Window? Oh. Why couldn't I pick that window? Whatever. A butterfly and a ship. Okay. There's part of the butterfly. Where's the other part? There it is. And a ship. Ah, I need to find a piece of the globe. Is that behind you too? Nope, there it is. There's a ship. That's a pretty cool ship. Nippers. All right. Can I just clip open those? Yeah, I didn't think so. What do I need these for? I don't even remember what... There's so many, like, puzzles, like, right off. All right. That we need a... Is that a bear or a dog? I think that's a bear. It's a very muscly bear. Ooh, can I use it on this? Cool. A pen and a newspaper. Oh, that's to open the window. This is another thing that these games 
do all the time. The best part about this puzzle particularly is this only works with really, really old fashioned locks where you can actually see through the keyhole and it requires someone to leave the key in the lock. But they even do this puzzle in games where it's a modern setting. Yes, this is in old time. That's different. This is in old timey days. Um, but they do it sometimes in times when it's not. Sometimes when it's a modern setting. Okay, I need to find the last part. Who's this? Forest witch. Taking the appearance of a kindly old woman, children are often drawn to her. However, she doesn't eat them. She's just lonely for company. <laughs> However, you should be aware, once you've arrived, she will never want you to leave. There's a Netflix show that's something like this. Actually, I just saw, I think it's Netflix, where there's this witch and she's trapped these two kids in her house and is forcing them to write her scary stories. I can restore the archive here. Okay. I don't remember what the show was called, but it looked interesting. I got half a scissor, part of a knife, oh, a sickle handle, and a sponge. Okay, I didn't actually read what that said. Once a powerful artifact, now a hovering curiosity in someone's collection. I just hope these fragments don't contain any of the artifact's former power. Uh-oh, is someone going to repair the doodad, doohickey, whatever it was? Last time we were here, this wasn't a window, by the way. This was a closet that was hidden behind the wall. I'm pretty sure you can't turn a closet into a window unless you take part of the building off. Oh, I can't go to any of the rest of the house, huh? Lame. All right, I think, no, I don't, wait, no, that's the ax handle. I think the sickle, yep, the sickle's right here. Where was the scissors? There they are. All right, let's go sharpen the sickle. I don't know if we have to sharpen the scissors. It also, just so you know, takes a certain amount of skill to use a sharpening tool to actually make something sharp. It's not as easy as just sticking it against a grinding wheel. You have to get the angles right and stuff. Right, now why do I need a sickle? That's a bird. Oh, I know, this thing. Those are aloe plants. Those are not poisonous. Unless I am very much mistaken. Okay, that's the mailbox charm. But that doesn't look like the mailbox. Also, do I need to get the sponge wet? Was there was something else. Oh, down here. Oh, there's the mailbox. Wait, a sponge is helpful, but... Oh, I probably need soap or water. Can I get more water? I didn't realize I still had the bucket. Nope, apparently I can't get more water. Don't know what I'm going to do with an empty bucket, but sure. Okay, and we need the bird. And we still have the sickle. Wow, this game is letting us keep a lot of the stuff. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. He looks silly with no wings. Can I, no, I can't. I have to get like a rope or something for that. All right, let's look in the house and see if there's something we can use the sickle on in the house or the bucket. have to cut through it somehow. With a sickle! No. Not, not nearly sharp enough. I could open this. Oh, I guess that's for the scissors. Oh, okay. I'm still gonna need water, aren't I? Don't need water to use soap. Who knew?
I've been washing stuff wrong my whole life. Do I spin these? Oh no, I just put them in the right places. That's easy. Except that's not right. Wait, what? Oh, I've got them backwards because I'm dyslexic. Good job, me. Missing a part. Of course it is. What is this? An archive part. Okay, are we going to rebind this book? That's pretty cool. That must be what this is, book binding. I thought that was rope. Now we have a tweezer. Do I need a tweezer? Oh no, that's the archive. This needs planets. That needs a piece. Okay. Can I get this with the tweezer? No, I didn't think so. Uh, can I get it with the sickle? That probably would work. Holes are too small for my hand. Yes, that is a vent. You're not supposed to be able to stick stuff down it. Ooh, can I get that? Yay! I mean, it was already on fire and we put the fire out. Also, why anyone would want to own a hotel that was haunted is beyond me. I also don't know what on earth we're using the archive for. But it seems important. Like, someone should have told us about it. That is very cute. Ooh, keys and an M. Wait. What do we got now? A E R M. Mare? Rame? Hotel key room. Oh, for over here. Oh, it's a castle. I didn't notice that last time. Well, they got the sword marks out of the uh, banister. Oil can. Yes, I don't think you usually lock ladders like that. A suitcase. It must have belonged to someone in the hotel before. I wonder who it was. Yes, they did do a good job of unmurdering the place. Why did... I don't care. Okay. It's a beautiful picture, but with an otherworldly feel to it. I wonder if we're going to go there or if that's a, like an Easter egg for one of the other games this company made. Ah, I thought that said something completely different at first. Carpe diem. Seize the day. No reading in this one, huh? Yeah, the stuff they've actually got fixed looks pretty nice. I guess it's a shame that they uh, have ghosts shooting birds at each other in the entranceway. Let's go. Is this all the pieces we need? Maybe they'll tell us what this is finally. Oh, okay. I did that wrong, I think. Yep, I did. Restart. This is not how you rebind books, by the way. You would just go back and forth between the different folios. Come on, brain, you got this. All right, I know what I did. I have to start here. That is a cool sound effect, though. No. No. Go. Oh, now wait one cotton pick a minute. <laughs> All right. Nope. No, I can go through ones more than once. I'm making this too hard for myself. <clears throat> so if I start here, I go this. No, I have to start here and go this way. There's no way to do this without going through the holes mul multiple times. I was trying to get it so that that didn't happen, and that's not a thing. Wow, that made the leather appear. Awesome. That is a really big book. Why was there a screwdriver behind it? 
Okay, well, I need a screwdriver in a couple places, if I remember correctly. Oh, I forgot about him. Ah, so you found it. I never doubted you for a moment. Were we looking for this? I don't remember being asked to look for this. I thought we were just going inside the hotel to make the ghosts stop being there. Let's see what it says. Oh, good. There's a ghost whisperer who lives in the forest. Let's split up and find her. Here, take this. A ghost whisperer? <laughs> Oh, I found a planet. Planets! Okay. Can we unscrew this? No. Planets aren't real. No, planets are real. Why is my phone ringing? Spam! Okay. Uh, that I need a clean... Can I pour oil on it? I don't understand that. I think I need a duster. He needs wings. That needs a light. There's more annoying ghosts in here. Here we go. I beg your pardon? Did we just use the screwdriver to pry up the thing that was screwed down? Why did we need a screwdriver to do that? We could have used any of the other implements we already have. Why did we bother looking for a screwdriver? <sighs> That just annoys me. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. All right. That needs something over there. I need something over there. That needs, oh, we have to unscrew this. Are we gonna pry this off too? No, this one we're actually gonna use as a screwdriver. Unbelievable. Wait a, oh, I guess I need a hammer too. A bike horn. Am I just going to scare the ghosts away with the bike horn? That would be amusing. Now, where was the axe handle? Ah, uh, that was on the grinding wheel. Ghost Saint music. Yes, we learned that in uh, Halloween Chronicles. Wait, what? Why can't I use the axe on that? That's wood. I'll have to cut through it somehow. If only I had an axe. They want me to saw it. I don't care if they want me to saw it. I could totally just cut it open with the axe. Nope, wrong button. Okay. Um, I'm going to try the bike horn on the ghosts. Aw, oh, it didn't even make a bike horn noise. Lame. Okay, so now I have an axe. I can't use it on the metal. I don't think I have anything I need to axe. I could use it on the drawer. This is why I'm not allowed in escape rooms. Ah, uh, da 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 da. How is any of this helping me? Wait, can I cut up this tree over here? Yes. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Art punk is so funny. What the heck is that now? I must return all the spirits to the spirit world. This one's probably the most concerning. It's throwing fireballs at me. I guess we're going to ignore it, though. This cauldron is leaky. It's leaky cauldron. The witch must have used it a lot. Okay. Ouch, hot. We do not have very many brains in this game, do we? There's a nail and a wheel. The wheel keeps falling off. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. What is that? A wind-up key. It looks like I need some tulips. Ooh, a candle. And a hammer. Another case where a handle would make my life easier. Yeah, well, we can't always get what we want. And get the nail. Don't know what I need it for, but apparently I need two of them. Can I light the candle on this? Can I light the candle on that? 
I could totally light the candle on that. Wait, where do I need a candle? I need a candle over here. Except it's not lit. If only there was fire nearby. Get in the middle of the woods with a pipe so that the smoke goes out of the woods. I'm not sure. Oh, right. I forgot about my butterfly. But I also could have lit it like on any of the on fire things. Thank you, butterfly. It's locked, of course. Of course. This is a lid handle. Is that for the barrel? Oh, that's what I need the nails for. Yes. I only have... Oh, where's the other nail? The other nail... Is that in the werewolf's room again? No. I'm confusing the two versions of the game. Oh, no, it is. It is. It's over here. There were nails in this room last time. Okay. Uh, now we can go nail the handle on the barrel. Oops, excuse me. That object thing is too close to the bottom of the screen. I like how I'm just completely ignoring the fireball throwing spirit. Those are screw heads on those nails, by the way. Are those coffee beans? Castor beans. I have heard of castor oil, but I don't know what castor beans are. I don't think that wolf likes that ghost. Huh. Yeah, he he mad. Uh, okay. Just completely ignoring all the ghosts. Ooh, whale! Wait, why didn't that work? Oh, we need to grind up the castor beans to make oil. Got it. And I bet this is for the horn. Ah, it was a dumb horn noise. What are those? Must be something special. Let's cut it down. <laughs> we cut them all down too. I don't even think we need them all. Windflower. Okay. Yay, because I think we need to put them over here. No? All right. And I have no idea. Oh, wait. Do we need to put these in there? That didn't exactly work. Well, you're not giving me a lot of hints here, game. Do I put those in there? I guess I have to fix it first. All right, I'm confused again. Where are we supposed to be? We are supposed to be over here. And what are we supposed to do over here? Is there something here I missed? Old and rusted won't move. Empty oil can. So I can't do anything with that. I don't have any bricks. must return all the spirits to the spirit world. Yeah, I got that. Thanks. Wait, what is this? I can't cross the bog without anything solid to stand on. I don't think I have any boards yet. I have a bucket. Can I get stuff from the bucket? No. Load the castor beans into the grinding mechanism. That's not a grind. Oh. I missed it. Yeah, the ghost throwing fireballs is just like chucking them into the into the forest, which doesn't appear to be catching anything on fire, so not a very effective uh, ghost. I don't think that's how that works. Matter of fact, I think that works exactly the opposite way you just showed it. You push that button down to squirt the oil out, not to drag it in. Just gonna ignore the ghosts and go up in the rickety elevator, huh? What was with the dramatic music? Hello, stranger. You don't have to tell me. I already know what you brought here. If I weren't just a spirit myself, I could help you rein in those raging ghosts, but I can't. What I can do is show you an important treasure. It's there in my house. Come, I'll show you. That doesn't sound suspicious. 
Why can't I just use the horn I used on the... Okay, two very specific thingies. Ooh, nesting dolls. What happened to the other dolls? I don't know. Garlic! I could put a lure here for the owl. Okay. Shovel. I only need a couple of patches from this cloth. Where's my scissors? There's some pretty rusty scissors. I could easily pick this lock. Oh, and a screwdriver! We used that as a pry bar earlier. There's no use watering an empty pot. Okay. Which was a cautious person. Everything in this game is, walk is locked up. Well, why wouldn't I take the watering can and fill up the watering can? I guess I'm filling up the bucket. And I still can't do that, huh? All right. Let's go unbury the thing that that witch is so helpfully giving us for no reason. Are we going to bring the witch back to life and then she's going to try to take over the world? Because that's kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen. Ooh, neat. Pirate treasure. All right. An anchor. There's the pirate ship. A frog. Where's a the frog? There's a frog. A diadem. Which is a little crown that's skinny. A tiara. A gold bar. Skull coins. One, two, three. A helmet. A brooch. Actually, lots of these things could be brooches. A bow. A horn, which I totally saw. There it is. And a Marrakesh doll. All right, now I need a key and a cork. Well, there's the cork. Where's the... There it is. You learned a new word? Which one? Oh, diadem? Yeah, it's a very skinny crown. Oh, there's an X there. I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't find the anchor. Where are you, anchor? Up oh, there it is. All right, I have one Marrakesh doll that actually didn't help me. Oh, I have patches for the bag, though. I don't know why I need a bag. And I don't have anything to sew them on with. Yeah, I didn't think so. What is this? A wheel cap. Oh, that's for the wheelbarrow. Or was that a wheelbarrow or a cart? That's a cart. I'm just going to carry that whole thing with me, huh? Cool. Now what am I doing? Can I put it in the swamp? Is that what we're doing? No? I guess. Still don't have any bricks. I guess I can put the doll up here. We still need another one, though. Sorry. Oh. It opened part way. That was nice of it. This was in... The hallway over here. Yep. Ah, needle and thread. Now I can sew up the sacks. I don't know why I need sacks, but... I couldn't... Okay. I, I could have moved the... Uh sacks to see that there was a saw underneath. Could have done that just as easily with an axe. That's a box of sand. I mean, it's for putting out fires. Am I supposed to throw these? Wait, what? How is that not... <sighs> you, you can't do it like that. You need a shovel or something. They're a little heavy. We put the whole... How is that cart going to fit out the front door? And what happened to the cart? Alright, I think we're supposed to put this on here. No? Are we supposed to put that on him? 
All right, so next thought the swamp. That wouldn't work. Oh, James, I keep forgetting about him. Sometimes, James, we really must take an actual vacation somewhere, don't you agree? Is he just gonna stand there like a statue? What? Where? What is this thing? There's another planet. Oh, why? Why do they have to keep including the stupid Babylon or a uh, Tower of Babel puzzle? Such a pain in my butt. I need a gear. Wait, can I get water there? Nope. Ooh, that's cool. I want a chest like that. That'd be neat. Oh, here's some more of those aloe plants with weird dandelions growing in them. Bolt cutters! Now I can get water? You are very specific. Game. What are the spirits in the picture so afraid of? What picture? I can't see it. A soul trap is only means available for a mortal who is on a mission of sending spirits at large back to the other side. The ones up for this challenge should pay close attention to keeping their mind straight on the task as a powerful artifact like this might become a weapon in hostile hands. Ah, so that would be the witch. No one actually remembers when the totems appeared on the Crystal Lake's border. What? But people knew they were put there for a purpose. Once activated, the totems could open a rare door between our world and the spirit world. What the totems couldn't do is draw the released spirits back to the other side. That's why the ancient conjurers used special trap boxes. The only thing that could quiet a spirit in the world of the living. This is a new mechanic. I, I agree. Okay, so I guess I have to read this part too because it's all part of the same thing. If the picture reflects the reality, this world is even more miraculous than I thought. Okay. It depicts a beautiful otherworldly place, but what bothers me is where this door over the surface of the lake can lead to. And is there a way to open it when needed? For century, totems were created to guard holy holly relics and its keepers in a different time and place i would consider it an old wives story but these grounds keep so many secrets and mysteries i would take these totems seriously did we miss something about the archive too no this was just at some point spirits began to appear in the vicinity of the hotel they are only a few of they are only a few of them for now but there will be more with every passing day. What makes the situation really dangerous is that they don't simply hover in the air. They keep fighting as if unaware the battle is over. Okay. I don't remember there being little mini movies in the last game. Also, there's only two of these pages. Huh. Ooh, there's a snowflake in this ice. Can I... Douse it with water? That would actually work. I could hit it with the claw hammer. Uh, I could melt it with a butterfly? No, all right. Uh, hammer? Sickle? Gotta give me some help here, guys. Most of those things would work. You just don't want me to do those because that messes up the order in which I'm supposed to accomplish things. I am on to you. What do I need in here? Oh, am I supposed to replant these? Nope. Okay. I still need something for the owl to play with. Is this to put that out? No. Is this to put in there? Yes, but I need to fix it first, I assume. I have no idea what this game wants me to be doing. I'm just picking up random things and bringing them to random rooms. Okay, I think we need one more planet. What was this thing? Oh, it was a little tiny flower. I need a drawer handle. Um, I need some way to get that. Oh, can I? I can't cut through those bars with this. No. Okay. Good. That would need some sort of saw. Am I pouring water into there? 
No, I need a rope for that. What about in here? Oop. Huh. Can I use the bolt cutters on the locks? Thank you! Do I get to keep the bolt cutters? No. Wait a minute, why do I need a string then? I guess it's to tie something to that. We don't need no hints. Probably. It was over here. Okay, I need a thing for that. All right, let's go put the planet on the planet. Oh, what's it called? It, it's a model of a solar system, but there's a specific name for it. I forget what it is. Solarium? I don't think that's right. What is that? A portal element. Tiny Planet Whirly Gig. I don't think that's the correct name. Okay. Is James still standing there just pointing at the stuff? Yes, he is. Have I mentioned in these streams how much I hate this puzzle? See, that one needs to go there. Wait, why can't I move that one over there? I guess it doesn't matter. This puzzle was made by people before entertainment was created. And it was the bestest thing because they were all bored out of their minds. I don't know. I bet ancient people loved it. Like I said, they didn't have anything else to do. They were bored out of their minds. No, I'm over here. Come on. You can go. No, it's literally just moving things back and forth between each other. And I'm dyslexic, so I get it wrong every single time. Yep, see, I did it backwards. Heck, damn it. There. Proof I can actually finish one of these games. Shouldn't we have, like, got the ghosts captured before we opened the ancient portal? Here we are at last. Crux of the place. If the archive is correct, this portal leads to the other side. Those spirits belong here. We just need to get them to walk through. I'll stay here and guard the portal. You seek out the spirits. Here, take this. Gee, thanks, James. A wooden key. What did I need that for? Also, that sound effect is annoying. Ah, oh, it stopped. Did I need a wooden key up here? Yes. Nope, not for that. Nope, that I need to be able to pick. This is an actual key. This I need flowers for, which I'm pretty sure are these, but I'm not entirely sure how that works. Is that for here? Yes. Ah, the last doll. And this is a key for what? Spring key. Oh, that's for the chest with all of the cool locks. This is a really cool box. It's a birdie! That looks like a European robin. Wait. Yeah, I want it to be there. Yep, I think that is a European robin. Nope. <laughs> it, it is a burb. It's a specific type of burb. All right. That is a signal. Oh, that's for the safe behind the picture up here. That didn't even go in the... That is creepy. That is a... 
metal mouse with fur. That looks like it's from a real mouse. Okay, that's for the owl in the treehouse, but it's still creepy. Yeah, that looks like they skinned a real mouse and put it on a mechanical one. Oh, it even walks creepy. Oh, that's not okay. Did it just abandon its nest? There were eggs in there! Yes, agreed. A gear, clay, and night amulet part. Okay. Uh, was the gear this way? Yes. What is this? Oh, neat. The art in this game is really good. Okay, let's see. We need a bag. A hook. Three mushrooms. One. Two. Three. A flower. Three turtles. One. Two. Three. I love turtles. I was just gonna say, Kid 3 really likes turtles. Guess who I've summoned by thinking? Wait, wait, where are the turtles? I just collected them. It's not my fault. Rawr. What do you want? What I want is you to pull up a picture of a turtle on the street. <laughs> I'm not going to pull up do a picture it. of a Like, I can't show pictures on here. I don't know how to do that. And everybody saw the turtles. Okay, so. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was... also can I say something? You, you've been saying Amber, stuff the whole time you've uh, been in here. I actually want to just talk to Amber. Okay, but you're talking literally to live to the internet. Amber, knock, knock. <laughs> We're not doing knock, knock jokes right now. We, Go away. We are now. No, <laughs> we are not. Who's there? Orange. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Orange who? Orange, you got I didn't say banana. Yes, I am. Go away. I love you. <laughs> <sighs> Calm blue ocean. Calm blue ocean. Okay. Where were we? <laughs> Welcome to my life. Okay. We were... <laughs> For a lure. <laughs> Comedic genius. Yes, that, that's him. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a petrified skull. A skull. Petrified shell. Petrified shell. Fishy. A pyramid. A trident. That was in front of a... Is that, that doesn't look like a loot. What is that? I don't know what that is. That's cool. All right, now we need a sprout and a swan. There's the swan. Oh, the swan is missing a wing. Yes, before he could talk, he would make sounds like like the cadence of someone telling a joke. And then he would laugh. And it was actually very funny. Okay, where's a sprout? No. Over here? Where am I supposed to be digging? Is it this stuff? A wow, that's cool. That looks like a glowing scallion. My kids were very cute when they were younger. That's why they're still alive. They use the screwdriver like a chisel. No, that'd probably break the screwdriver. I don't know why I need a glowing scallion or clay. All right, I'm lost again. Oh, I bet the clay is to fix the pot. That's not how that works, but sure. And I'm putting water in the pot. And the water is boiling. Oh, I get the pot back again. I can't carry boiling water with my hands. Now I'm gonna put the boiling water back in the 
bucket. Why do I need boiling water? Dude, stop. Okay. Why do I need boiling water? Oh, to melt the ice. I knew that. Oh, it's a key. I thought it was just like a little ice cube. I mean, snowflake. My brain is deteriorating. Oh, ain't that pretty? It's a snowdrop. That's part of this door. I guess they're not tulips. Or maybe that one's definitely not a tulip. That is a tulip by the looks of it. I don't know what that is. That's a snowdrop. That supposedly has writing on it, I think. Huh. Right. Now what? Inside the treehouse. Oh, are we planting this in here? That potting container has holes in it. Just so you're aware. Wait a minute. There's no water in that can. Was there? Ooh, that's pretty. It is a tulip. I shouldn't pick it with my hands. I think that's a little silly, but sure, why not? Okay, and then we need a last flower. Is that this? I tried that! Stupid game. Brush and part of a sun. Archaeologist brush. Okay, that's for this thing over here. It's just a paintbrush. They don't have special brushes for archaeology. They just use paintbrushes. This, I think, goes in the werewolf's room. Yep. Oh, it's the fall key. I love the art assets in this game. That is way too close to the bottom of the screen. Artists, if you are ever watching this, you did an excellent job, even though this game is silly and makes no sense. And that is a pin which I can use to pick the lock in the tree house. Yep. A rope ladder. Why do I need a rope ladder? Where do I need a rope ladder? Anything up high here. I can already get to that. Part of the hotel. Oh! Is this... I have to sweep away the debris first. Okay, I guess the rope ladder is to get to the second floor. Even though this hallway leads to that room that we already opened. So what now? Oh, nope. It's for this. And that fishy is part of the fountain. Actually, I think those are supposed to be dolphins. Or water dragons. Like from, like old maps that is part of a chisel oh there was a handle somewhere where was the handle nope yes at least we didn't have to make the ladder you will have to make ladders in many many of these games i am so glad there are not those stupid things in every single room that would be cool let's make a gigantic chisel <laughs> All right, that's not <laughs> where the handle is. Where is the handle? Oh, I need a uh, wrench for the ladder. Nope. Oh, I guess I don't need a handle for the chisel. Shows what I know. At least this game figured out that you need a chisel and a hammer and not just the chisel to do that kind of stuff. That brick didn't have any writing on it. Am I supposed to be pushing these in or taking them out? Press down, okay. 
I didn't mean to do that. This is annoying. And I thought I figured it out and I didn't. All right, nope, done. Stupid thing. Ooh, lots of stuff in here. What is that? Twigs. I probably could have found that in the forest. And this is a cabinet key for up here. Put it in a sock. No, we're not making improvised weapons right now. A pot holder. Oh, that's part of the suitcase that we don't know who it belonged to. That still doesn't help me. It's not like I can reach in there. If only I had something long and pointy like a sickle. Alright, let's go put the vampire teeth in the suitcase. Yeah, no idea who this belonged to. Must have belonged to someone who lived in this hotel before. I might need sticks. Hmm. I don't need to make a fire. We have lots of fire. Unless I do need to use it for the fire. Oh, you can get... Actually, in the last game, the butterfly got a file out of a fireplace for us. Someone in this game must not like files. This, which would take forever, just FYI. Probably could have just done one. Alright, now I can get the ladder from the werewolf room. And I guess now I can get to the second floor? Question mark? I need to sweep away the debris first with bundle of sticks? Oh. Yes. With a bundle of sticks. I figured it out. I mean, I don't think that would be more effective than just using my hands, but whatever. There's a lizard. And the rest of the fangs. That's all we need up there? Alright. I know where the lizard picture goes. The bat wings! Why did somebody put the gargoyle's wings in a box? That wasn't very nice. He was naked. Ooh, more cool stuff. Alright, let's see. Three amulets. Other half must be nearby. Alright, that's an artifact, not an amulet. Is that an amulet? Oh, yes. Two... That is not an animal. What was that? That was a beetle. I have a funny story about an amulet. That's a beetle. So if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons, there is a piece of jewelry that looks like a scarab. And when you put it on, it kills you. And during one session, they found one of these things, but they didn't know what it was. This is my brother's gaming group. And since they didn't know what it was, my brother wrote it down in their inventory as a brooch. So the next time they gamed, they were looking at the inventory and someone saw that they had a brooch and put it on and it killed them instantly. <laughs> And now my brother is no longer in charge of writing stuff down for inventory because he didn't point out that it was a death scarab. It was just a brooch. <laughs> so yeah, always be very specific when you're writing things in your inventory because the DM done care. <laughs> I don't need a clue. Really? I could have figured that out all by myself. He's a lizard. Lizard, lizard.
I don't know why I put that there. That goes there. Yes. And you and you are backwards. All right, now we've got the last fish. Which I still think is either a dolphin or a dragon. That handle is for the tree house? Question mark? No, it's not. Where was the handle? Oh, here it is. Yep, okay. I need to secure the handle. Psh. Oh, wait, it's already got screws on it. That was polite of whoever took it off. Another key! And we have a full night amulet. That goes in the tree house. Yep. This goes in the tree house. Okay. And then we have to do the last container, which is summer. And there's the sun, which also goes in the tree house. Okay. Open the secret hiding place by interacting with the diorama. Is this an old school, like, you have to figure it out with no hints thing? Okay, wait, do any of these other ones move? Two thousand... Is this going up by 13? Oh, because they had to fight every 13 years. I remember that from the first thing. So this is two, six. Yep. Okay. Open the secret hiding place. Okay, you can stop. Oh, crowbar. No? Oh, crowbar on the box. Silver key. Stop telling me that. I'm poking at things. It's annoying me. What can I do here? Let's see. Why did the birdie drop the coin? Oh, I had to pay the dude for the shovel? It's a diorama. Silly business. That's cool. Okay, now I guess I get to capture the ghosts. Yep, apparently so. Good. They were very irritating. Aha! I'm gonna get you, ghost of fire. <laughs> My son wears contact lenses, and earlier today he put his contact lenses in and then left a giant mess all over the table. And as such, I told him he needed to clean up and my brain cut off halfway through me talking to him and I couldn't think of the correct word. And I said, and make sure you clean up your eyeball juice, not eye drops, eyeball juice. He is now forever going to call them eyeball juice. So I have that to look forward to. Yes. I think we're missing a picture. We are! We are! We are! We are! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I know you're gonna call it. I remembered. James! Aw, oh, I was hoping he turned into something! Compared to creatures with supernatural powers, detectives may seem weak. But that is not true. Indeed, they have developed exceptional observational and reasoning abilities. Coupled with his tact and un 
unobtrusiveness, James is the perfect partner for investigating the supernatural. <laughs> Detectives are not cryptids or mythological beings or monsters. Well, maybe monsters sometimes. That should be I have all of them then. Yep, that's all of them. Including vampire, dryad, dude in a hat, and James. <laughs> no, he's not. We're the detective. He's just standing, pointing at the stupid portal. Oh, I guarantee that. That's fine. But I'm saying just detective is not necessarily something that is a cryptid. Are we just going to chuck it in there? Oh. I guess they got sucked in. I thought it said it wouldn't suck them in. That's it? <laughs> this game, I swear. Well, that was, uh... <laughs> the end. There wasn't even really a the end. <laughs> Let's see, did we unlock everything? No, I don't want to play again. Thank you. We didn't see this. Where was this? This is the concept art. The concept art in this game is pretty cool. This is not concept art. That's supposed to be in wallpapers. That's cool. Music. Yeah, that's kind of not okay. Achievements room. I did not get all the achievements. Because, like, this one was to wait for 10 minutes to finish a, a hop game. <laughs> no, they did not code an ending. Collections room, we got all of those. Oh, now this is one of the things. Secret room. I don't know what this is. Continue. Greetings, my dear friend. Never fear. This place is a memorial for our orders. We come here to pay our final respects to those who died in battle. Unfortunately, this time, our funeral relics are trapped in the hotel. Please, do us this final honor. Get the relics for us. I'm unable to return to the hotel myself, but I can get you there. Why did he have a pentagram on his hat? He's a magician, not a witch. Wait. Which one am I supposed to go through? Shall we do left or right? Yes, the achievement is to be bad at the game. Let's go left. This is suspiciously a mini game. Well, I like to go right, so all y'all can be shush. But I went left because I knew you would say that. All right, my brain just stopped working for a moment. Why am I having such a hard time here? Because I have the wrong ones on the outside. That's why. Yeah, my, I'm glad I didn't wait till later to do this because my brain is like non-existent right now. Why am I having so much trouble with this? All right, none of you guys are crossed. There we go. Ah, we're back in the dryad room, and apparently they at least buried her. I need a star. No, there's actually stuff to pick up in here. Aw, oh, they locked up the Venus flytrap again. Okay, I have a star. I guess I need to go in the other portal to do something now? They fixed this area. This one had like an earthquake. Okay, let's see. Bell. Necklace. Pipe. Oh, I have to find the pipe. Flower. One, two, three. Pliers. Those are clippers. Those are pliers. Three watches. One. Nope, that's a compass. Two. That's not a watch. That's a clock. Uh, three. And that is also not a watch. That is an hourglass. Scroll. Dagger. Book. That's a book. That's a book, too. Uh, and a rake. 
Which this isn't. I remember that from last time. That's a rake. Oh, and I need the bow and arrows. Bow and arrows. And a pipe. Which is in here. And I got the bug. Now I go back over here and release the Venus flytrap. Oh, I take it with me. I guess that goes for the dryad. Okay. Do I have to pick where I go next? Let's let's do Wait, what? Oh. A voodoo heart. Okay, this time I get one portal. These are, in fact, the exact same mini games for those who missed the original pay playthrough. Okay, so Storm Cloud is one, Sun is two, Tree is three, Snow is four, and Rain is five. Still really racist. Now we need the key, which is probably in here. Cactus. Cane. Three knives. One, two, three. See, the problem with this is, this is still a cigar case, is you can't just take lots of different cool stuff from lots of different places and cultures and religions and put them all together because they are all things that black cultures have and then say it's stuff from a voodoo priest that's not a thing that is rude yeah the voodoo dream catcher for example and I went over this when we were doing it before. This is Egyptian. This is Native American. Like, yes, people of color use these things. There's a banjo. What the heck does that have to do with anything? Oh, there's two great dream catchers. I didn't even notice that. Like, you, you, you can't do that. It's, that's just using the important pieces of someone's culture as set decoration. And it's lazy, besides. It's not that hard to find cool stuff from the voodoo religion if that's the direction you were going in. That's a key, a black key over oh, here. Oh, this one again. <sighs> yeah, it's amazing. Green eight. no. Green eight. no. Yeah, those are not even voodoo dolls. I mean, I guess they could be. I don't know that much about voodoo dolls. But we're going to skip this because it took me forever last time. And a voodoo doll. What do I need? Oh, that must be his token for in here. With a needle. That should be a pin, but that's okay. Token. I don't know what that one's for. Are we going in order? Maybe this one's the werewolf? Werewolf had a bad time in the last game. Wait, why are we here? Okay. Anchor. Frog. Diadem. Here. What else? Gold bar. Skull coins. Helmet, brooch, bow, horn, Marrakesh doll, and then we need the cork. I'm very disappointed that that didn't make a cork noise. And a key, which is buried under the X. Okay. Oh, 
oh, I'm definitely not playing this game again. This game got my dyslexia really bad last time. Like, okay, so what order do these moons go in? This is the first one. This is the second one, right? Following me. Third, and then my brain went fourth, fifth, sixth. Which is not correct. Is it? No, because the full moon has to be up. No, this one's the next one, and then that one, and then this one. Yeah. And I got them in the wrong level. It was, it was not a good time. Yeah, we're just going to do that. It's the moon. I don't think the werewolf wants the moon. Well, maybe. I guess it depends on the werewolf. It's a very cool thing they've got going here. Oh, look! Now, Hubby has arrived. Everyone say hello to Nope, he left. Oh, we got three portals this time. Okay. Oh, we get to paint the storybook again. Is it the same story? Okay, but we only have to paint one thing, right? I mean, it was cute the first time. Just waiting for the skip to load. These are very pink boys. Yeah. This is a way to trick you into playing the minigames over again. Because you, I think you can actually play the minigames... Stop. I think you can actually play the minigames over again, like, on purpose. Did we load yet? No. I'm pretty fast at this. I'm only doing this now because I'm stubborn and I already started. Wow, I finished before the skip button loaded. That's pretty cool. Uh, up or down? Let's go up. Yeah, this is just all the mini games. This one was actually kind of fun. Uh Okay, yeah, just waiting for the skip button to load. Still waiting. If this was like a timer thing, it's like, can you beat the game before the skip button loads? That would be much cooler. But it's not. But yes, the answer is I can. Ha 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 ha. Only I was trying to speed run this game. Now I need the handle, which is right here. And in, hidden, hidden object puzzle. Yeah, that's good. Hidden object puzzle. You can't fool me twice. If I can do this without looking to see what the pictures are that we need just from memory. Oh, I got pretty far. Okay, I need a lantern with a candle. And a glove and another flask. There we go. That's a canteen, but close enough. Oh, it's his phylactery. Hyde Piper is not a mouse. I don't know how much I need to stress this, but it's true. The Pied Piper is not a mouse. Pied Piper was never a mouse. Pied Piper played music so that the mice would leave Bremen. No, that's a different story. So that the mice would leave. It wasn't Bremen. That's a different story. He's the statue. There was a, a, a stone statue here. He was the statue. Yep. I didn't figure that out either. Let's see if we can do this one without reading anything, just from memory. So far, no. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. Kane, Simon... Newspaper and dried flowers. Yeah, pretty much. Except the witch. The witch and the stranger were the other two that escaped, if I remember correctly. Why do we need a bird? 
Oh, we're gonna play this game again? I think not. Right, so no, we're not gonna play this game. That's a real bird. I think that's a real bird. I don't know that I've ever seen a green bird that wasn't a parrot, nor a purple bird that, was a humming, that wasn't a hummingbird. But I think these two might be uh, made up ones, but I think all these guys are real birds. I know this one and this one are at the very least. We're just waiting for the skip button to run out. No important information is happening here. This is very pretty though. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I bet this opens and that's where the thing is. That's what happened last time. <laughs> Hi, Ott, how are you? Ah, <sighs> sigh. Come on, load faster. I can't wait for these games that we're playing to start having customizable stuff so I can just set the skip button to zero. Yay! Lot Punk just finished her first uh, draft of her second midwife story, which you should all read. And it's called Of Needles and Pins? Of Pins and Needles? What's the title? Yes. Which one? Yes. <laughs> of Pins and Needles. It does not have a cover yet, though, or I would share it on here. And it's just the first draft, so you can't read it yet. Oh, it already loaded. I'm just sitting here talking. Oh, that's his pipe. That makes sense. And what's the last one? The vampire. What does a vampire need? Or what would be the symbol of a vampire besides blood? Oh, I went the right way. I guess this game does want me to go left first. I just realized that all the portals I went through were the correct one. We're gonna play. Don't look at the thing again. See how many things I can remember. Before looking. Okay. Oh, that was a lot. Uh, another butterfly. There it is. Watering can and a rake. And I got a crystal. Guess I don't need anything else. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, this is like the first one we did. I don't remember much from this one. Looks like someone's sewn a little hiding place. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, I didn't remember as much of this one because this was the first one that we played. I'm pretty sure. The first or the second one. Gloves and a handkerchief. Gloves. That's not a handkerchief. That's a scarf. And a chest piece. And a coin purse. Ah! I just hit the wrong button. There's a coin purse. So a handkerchief and, a, and glasses. Okay. That's a tie. That's a scarf. That's another scarf. That's a hat. Huh, where is it? Oh, I wasn't looking there. I think we weren't supposed to no, you can't have my butterfly. All right, though, to be fair, I don't know why, but the vampire did in fact have the butterfly. When we very started the game, that was one of the first things we got. It was in a little glass dome in the vampire's room. But I don't want to give you the butterfly. It's mine. He's my friend. Well, I was kind of dumb. I had to give away my butterfly. And it wasn't really very interesting. Okay, well, there we go. 
that was Haunted Hotel Eclipse, the fifth Haunted Hotel computer game. It was kind of haunted this time. At least there were like monsters this time. The last time it wasn't even haunted. The last time it was Cthulhu. And the time before that, it was some sort of weird plot. So there you go. And yeah, there goes the bonus. And at least, like I said, there were there were sort of like monsters and stuff. The last one wasn't really monsters so much as a Cthulhu initiate trying to steal your brother's body. And the first one, there was literally no haunting. That was the first three games. Actually, the first one, technically, there was like this mist monster, but they totally didn't do that for the second and third one. Yes, with a very complex backdoor. What's the next one? I have it written down. Where is him? Oh, here it is. Ancient Bane. And I know very little about it, except it does have James in it, though he does appear to have gotten a haircut. There are, in fact, 20 of these games. Let me look that up. Because I don't know when the latest one came out, but I'm pretty sure it was last year. The most recent Haunted Hotel game was Lost in Time. And it came out in July of 2020. And they have been putting out at least one game per year since 2008. Except they missed 2011. So every year between 2008 and now, they put out at least one of these games. So they're kind of due to put one out. But I guess they haven't done that yet for this year. So 2020, as I've told many people many times, doesn't count. 2020, we're just skipping that game, or year rather, and we are moving on to the next year. And if somebody was supposed to have something done that year, it doesn't count. They, have, they, they can have this year to do it in instead. But the important thing is we are going to finish up Halloween Chronicles, Monsters Among Us, with Photo Dad in our next Let's Play. And then, then I don't know what we're doing. I wrote that down too, and I don't know where I put it. Which ones are we working on? That I have written down. Do, 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 do. I'm doing something. Hang on a mo. Select. There. Okay. Now my socials are up there, so I don't have to repost them. All right. So on my Twitter, I posted the big list of games I have which is currently 42 pages long, I think. It might be shorter than that. I think I have some at the bottom that I haven't actually played yet. All right, let's see. So we just finished Haunted Hotel Eclipse. We uh, need to finish Monsters Among Us. That's the Halloween Chronicles. Those are the only two that we're doing right now. I saw one on Big Fish Games very recently that just came out. That was another Halloween game. And I wanted to see if that one looked good. The most recent Halloween Chronicles game actually just came out. Halloween Stories Neglected Dead. Whoa. It's only got three and a quarter stars. But that one looked kind of cool. So maybe we'll do that one too. Oh, I want to start Mystery Case Files too. I might start that after Halloween though. Depending on if we can get through... Because I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of the haunted or uh, Halloween Chronicles games before Halloween. What week is this? What day is this? What reality is this? This is the 19th. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get through three more Halloween games before Halloween unless that's all I do between now and then. Which I guess I could do. But I want to start Mystery Case Files with the very beginning game, which is like 2007. It is so old. It is literally just hidden object puzzles. There's like almost no plot. There's almost no mini games if there's any mini games at all. But uh, that should be fun because that's got some really cool games in it and some really crazy games in it. Some of them, yeah, actually. Some of my babies are as old as uh, Mr. K's Files. Some of them are as old as some of the other games. All right, so I guess I need to stop talking now. I am Fate Touched, and I will see you later. Bye.